Thank you for joining us today for the core filtering tutorial for users. This video will familiarize you with the controls available to you as a user, give information about how to gain web console access, and answer a few frequently asked questions. Let's get started. Once your administrator enables email filtering, the filter will begin to identify some messages as spam and pass through to your inbox all messages considered to be legitimate. This results in an inbox free of annoying and dangerous messages, allowing your email experience to be focused and productive. To allow you the opportunity to review messages thought to be spam, messages identified as such are captured in a safe off-site location called a quarantine. There, users have seven days to review messages before they expire. The primary means of reviewing items held in quarantine is the Spam Quarantine Report, or SQR. By default, this report is sent to every email address every weekday that new spam is quarantined, containing only newly captured items since the previous report. In the report itself, you'll find detailed instructions on how to view, release and delete quarantined messages, and how to allow or deny senders in the future without leaving your inbox. Clicking on any links in this report will complete the requested action and open up a web browser to your online quarantine. If you would like to change the frequency, content, or format of the SQR, click here. You can also use this link to provide an alternate SQR delivery address, time zone, and password settings. If you would like to consolidate your accounts and therefore the number of SQRs you receive, click Manage My Email Addresses. Because of global and administrator settings, the amount of spam found in quarantine may be drastically less than you are accustomed to. This will allow you to spend mere seconds per day on spam management. Should spam slip through the filters and find its way to your inbox, you can use the Report Spam tool for Outlook, available for download here. This will install a button in your Outlook toolbar that can be used to report uncaught spam to the threat team 24 hours a day. Reported items will be reviewed and global modifications will be made incrementally as more spam is reported. If you do not use Outlook, please contact your administrator for alternate reporting options. If you wish to place a hard deny on the sender's email address, you can do so from the web console. Having been logged in automatically by clicking hyperlinks in the SQR, you now have access to other configurable options. Enter the sender's address into the deny list here. You may have already used the spam quarantine report to populate your allow list, but you can also manually add or remove entries here. Refer to the help button for details about functionality and formatting. If you are not able to locate an SQR or the hyperlinks have expired, you can always manually log in at the web console location provided by your administrator. If you do not have credentials, click on the forgotten password link. On this page, enter your primary email address here and click Next. An email will soon follow with links allowing you to gain access to the console, set up or reset your password, and set up a security question. Whether logging in manually or gaining access through the SQR, you now have access to all user sections of the console, including message continuity and message archiving. For more information about using these products, please refer to the relevant tutorials. This concludes the core filtering tutorial for users. If you have questions or need additional information, please consult the online help within each page or contact your administrator.